a lot of the tests we've seen so far will be static or quasi-static and that they'll be tested very slowly. We wanted a slow, controlled operation so that we can replicate uh, that on, on subsequent specimens. We can do one very slowly and controlled and then provide the exact same conditions on the next one in a slow, controlled way so we can compare the behavior. And a test like uh, this, the, the shake table, would be done at full dynamic speed. So it would run as if an earthquake would run. The test would be you know, 30 seconds long or 20 seconds long some cases a couple minutes long, but in a much shorter time scale. How do you make it shake? There's a hydraulic piston. The, the yellow table here will slide left and right as we're looking at it in one dimension on top of the base. And there's a hydraulic piston in the frame that will shake back and forth. And the structure we have bolted to the yellow table is a quarter scale model of a steel moment frame. So this would represent the steel frame that would be inside an office building or, or a commercial type building in this case. If you look at this frame, the bracing is actually different in the both directions. So we can pick this frame up and turn it 90 degrees and get different behavior. Uh, so we essentially have two different structures. One would be a braced end plate frame, and one would have the diagonal chevron brace. So this project is looking at how can that different bracing be configured to get the best performance uh, in an earthquake. And to what level earthquake tested? Like what could these structures withstand? The earth. It depends on the structure, certainly, and, and earthquake level is an interesting question. People think of the magnitude of the earthquake, yeah. which, which is the most common measure, and it's certainly not the only measure, but any earthquake that has occurred in reality can be simulated on this table, um, either at scale or even in some cases at full scale on components. Now, we couldn't put a whole building on this table, but we could maybe put the entire door frame and the door and the, maybe the roof structure over that door and shake it as if it were in a full building replicating any, any earthquake record that exists. Can you go over the documented magnitude to theoretical magnitudes? I mean, like magnitude 10 or something like that? So you could create easily a magnitude 10 on this scale. What does that look like? Like, how fast is it moving in this magnitude 10? The magnitude is related. Um, there are a lot of factors that go into it, but the, the mass and scale of the structure uh, is, is related to that as well. Uh, but this table can move, I think, 9 or 10 inches a second. So if you imagine, you know, it has about a 10-inch stroke. If it's all the way to one side, and one second later, it can be at the other side. And that's with a, I think, a 40 or 50,000-pound push in the horizontal direction. And it can take an 80,000-pound payload on the table. So the factors of, of mass and acceleration and velocity, they all relate as to how the structure behaves. So that's where magnitude, it, it's kind of a, a funny number, really, in some regards. It, Horizontal acceleration is sometimes a better, a better gauge. But um, 